Hello there, and thanks for joining me once again at my tying bench. And this time around, I'm going to tie you up a wet fly pattern, a soft tackle pattern. And it's a little take on the Adams fly. I call this one the Adams soft tackle. Very simple fly to tie, but an effective fish catcher. So we all know how good the colors of the Adams are. Simply uh, the soft hand brown and grizzly hackle for the tail fibers. Our Adams great dubbing for the body. And the color is the Adams, or excuse me, the uh, brown and grizzly hen hackle for the collar. So, I thought you might like to see this one tied, so I'll get him a device, a fresh hook in, and get started. And the hook is the same as I usually use on my wet flies, a 33.99 must head. And I'm going on the big side here, size 10. Big size for the video, so you can see it good. And good old Danville 6 out black for the thread. So we'll start like we do each time. We'll get our thread base right behind the eye, but a hook eye length. And we'll wrap back to the bend, just close to the barb or so. Alrighty. I'll stop there and trim off my tag end. Alright, now for the tail, I've just got a little a brown and a grizzly hen hackle here and I'm just going to strip fibers off each one and mix them together a wee bit and then we'll have our tail just try to pick off the same amount each time it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, and I'll strip some off of that put them together just like so and then I have some grizzly and then I just find the easiest way to mix them is just give them a little turn in your fingers like so that'll mix the fibers together okay that one didn't work out so good folks so just bear with me here not everything goes perfect each time that's for sure as we know so I'll pull off some more the grizzly Excuse me there folks, I dropped my hackle so I gotta get another one. Just pull off another hen hackle off the cape here. Seems on camera everything doesn't always go smoothly, that's for sure. So I'll grab a few more brown here. Alrighty, we'll get her going here in a sec. Alrighty. Okay, so we have our tail ready to tie in. Now we'll measure that about the length of the shank here. Bring it back. Tie it in with a pinch wrap. Just like so. Come back a couple more wraps towards the barb there. That's fine. A couple wraps forward. And if you hear a background noise, my sorry about that, my neighbor's sawing wood over there. those fibers down come back towards the bend once again and we're ready for the body so I'll take a little of my tacky wax here and I'm simply using some plain old hairline Adams dubbing standard Adams gray keeping this color original here but you could add a little flash if you wish which I do many times in my flies. Okay, we want a little taper going towards the eye, of course. All right, we'll wrap this noodle on, see where it takes us here. And if we need to add more, it's no big deal. So we're gonna come up towards the front here. And uh, as you can see, I do need a little bit more. Uh, take a little bit more dub. Dub another short noodle on there. Let's see if that'll do it up for us. And that's fine right there. And you can see a slight taper there. If you wish, you can cut some of the long guard hairs out, but a lot of times I like to leave them in. I like that buggy look for my flies. Okay. Last step, I have a grizzly 
and a brown hen hackled together here. The fiber stroke bag, and I'm going to, the tips are ready to tie in. I just put them together, so we'll tie them in at the same time here. Okay. And we'll come up. Create on top of our hook here. A couple wraps forward. And I'll fold those back to lock them in place. And I'm just going to reach in this time and snip those buddies out this time. Just like so. Wrap back. And then I'm going to pull up on those hackles. One wrap in behind. Then move forward to behind the eye of the hook. Okay, now folks, we'll just grab the uh, two stems here with my pliers. Keep them together. At least we hope they stay together. That's the the idea and of course they're going to give me a hard time but we'll get them once I get them situated here okay now we're going to begin to wrap well maybe not folks that one decided to pull out on me but so just bear with me I can fix that no problem I'll just grab another one here And we'll do the same thing again here. Just grab another brown hackle. Tie him in by the tip in front of the grizzly. Just like so. Pull him back. Cut out the excess. Okay, let's give this another whirl here. Okay. Fold the fibers back. Now we'll begin to wrap. And I don't, I'm not going to use all of this hackle because I don't want it too overly hackled. So I'm going to come up around, tie them off now. Good snug wraps there. Just like so. And wrap forward on it a bit. Now I'm going to stroke everything back. And wrap up onto those stems a little there. Now I'm going to reach in and grab those stem pieces. And get those out of there. Trim them out. Or you can pull them if you can get a hold of the little buggers. And I still got one more in there, folks. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so now all there is to do is wrap back on that and build a head on them. And then we're going to whip finish and it's a done deal. Like I was saying, it's a very simple pattern to tie, but it uh, does catch fish. So I'll just grab my whip finisher here. And give that thread a little spin and flatten my thread out a little. And we'll throw in a four or five turn whip finish here. Catching any fibers. Alrighty. And there she be. Another size 10 Adam Soft Tackle. And as you can see, it's nice and buggy looking and great for to fish on the swing. And I really enjoy fishing soft tackles. I've caught a lot of nice trout on them in the past, over the years and that's why I thought you might like to give this one a try folks so anyway if you haven't subscribed to my channel and uh, you'd like to see more flies in the future don't hesitate to hit the good old subscribe button there and uh, the little bell so you know when I put new patterns up and I really appreciate you watching and uh, until next time everyone Happy tying out there. I shall see you all again soon. 
And so long for now, folks. <laughs>